Hi everyone, so today I'm going to go through some observational learning exam style questions. Okay, so um, Melissa had always wanted to be a teacher. When she became a student teacher, she spent two weeks watching a qualified teacher with a class of year nine students. Melissa carefully observed the techniques that the teacher used to manage the class. However, when Melissa took over, she was unable to control the class. In terms of observational learning, which of the following is the most likely reason for Melissa's inability to put into practice what she had learnt by watching the teacher? Um, so, great name to start off with by um, <laughs> the use of Melissa there. And um, we know that Year 9 students can at times be a handful, so I don't blame poor past Melissa there. Woohoo! Um, so, let's go through the uh, answers. Melissa did not pay sufficient attention to what the teacher was doing. She was not motivated to learn how to manage the class. The teacher did not provide Melissa with reinforcement for managing the class. Melissa remembered that she, uh, what she had observed when she watched the teacher manage the class, but did not have the ability to do it herself. So let's go through and um, try to eliminate each of the options. So for A, she did not pay sufficient attention to what, to what the teacher was doing. Well, if we look in the scenario here, she carefully observed the techniques that the teacher used to manage the class. So she did pay attention. Uh, for B, she was not motivated to learn how to manage a class. Well, she had always, oh, sorry. She had always wanted to be a teacher. Um, and so it seems really likely that she um, was really motivated to do that. So it can't be B, can't be B. C, the teacher did not provide Melissa with reinforcement for managing the class. So we know that reinforcement um, it will strengthen behavior. So if she was having trouble, if she was unable to control the class, um, she the fact that she was getting reinforcement wouldn't really be relevant in this scenario and she wouldn't be reinforced if she wasn't doing a good job. So let's read through D again. Uh, Melissa remembered what she had observed when she watched the teacher manage the class but didn't have the ability to do it herself. So that's exactly what it states um, in this bit here and this goes back to the reproduction stage so which makes the answer D so you can have the knowledge but that doesn't necessarily always mean that you're able to um, reproduce it next question when she began her job in a cafe Lola had to learn how to use the coffee machine to teach Lola, her employer at the cafe asked her to watch him as, as, she, uh, as he made coffee with the machine. Later when she attempted to make a coffee by herself, Lola was unable to do so and had to ask her employer to show her the, pro the procedure again. This is most likely because Lola lacked the maturation to make coffee, needed graduated exposure to make coffee did not form a mental representation of what she had to do, did not use trial and error in learning uh, how to make coffee using the machine. So this one's quite um, simple in the sense that lots of these terminal, lots of these terms that are used in here don't actually um, relate to what we've learned about observational learning. So maturation doesn't play a part in observational learning at this stage. Um, she didn't need gradual exposure, but instead needed to follow those um, steps of armour. Uh, so she did not form a mental representation of what she had to do. Okay, that sounds pretty good. And she didn't use trial and error learning. So trial and error learning in this situation relates more to operant conditioning, not observational learning. So this makes the answer C. So it goes back to that attention stage. So perhaps... Um, so when she attempted to do it, she had to ask her employer to show her again. So maybe she didn't pay enough attention or she was not able to retain the information um, that she had observed in that situation. So this goes back to the uh, short, answer, uh, short answer question in the 2010 psychology exam. Use an example to explain retention in observational learning. So we know that retention is the second stage. So second stage there of observational learning. So you have to use an example. So the retention stage is all about um, memory. 
So retention occurs when the learner stores a mental representation, so within their memory, of the observed behaviour and its consequences. So storing it and being able to use it. Um, your answer then needs to include the storing of a mental representation or some sort of remembering the process of the observed behavior. So my example was the steps in a dance. So more specifically, um, the steps in a TikTok dance to the weekend's blinding lights song. So you have to make a mental representation and remember the steps involved. So keyword here um, is mental representation. So it has to be able to be remembered. This question goes back to the 2008 exam. So it's question 10. Motivation is one of the processes involved in observational learning. Use an example to explain the process of motivation. So uh, my answer here, a person is unlikely to reproduce an observed behavior unless they want to. So key word there that you always have to include if you're talking about motivation. You have to want to do it or have to have the desire to do it. So um, my examples, there's three different ones there, include um, performing a slam dunk in basketball after watching an NBA match, washing up after dinner after seeing your brother and sister being praised for doing so, and putting maple syrup on a pancake after seeing your brother enjoy it. So here are some examples there that relate to that want and that desire. Couple more notes from Vika in regards to this question because the marking allocation didn't seem to be um, as simple as that. So motivation is often linked to reinforcement. So if you believe that reproducing something uh, will give you positive consequences, then you are way more likely to carry it out. So you might want to do something and then once you think about the consequences, if they are, are good, then it strengthens um, your motivation and therefore leads to that reinforcement. So motivation must be shown as the desire to perform the action. So reference to reinforcement, so talking about that end goal there was not enough to earn the mark unless it, it was shown to create this specific desire. So many students gave examples of motivation to learn, but not motivation to perform the behavior. So look back over your answers. Are they motivation to learn something or are they motivation to perform the behavior? So answers that had that did not earn marks as that's not the term, that's not the way that the term motivation is used in observational learning. Okay, we have a question here from the 2016 exam. Uh, Phoebe is eight years old and loves playing cricket. She really admires the Australian cricket, uh, the Australian female cricket captain who has blonde hair like Phoebe and often hits balls over the fence uh, for six runs. She tells her father, I'm going to be like her one day and play for Australia and be on TV like she is. The stage of observational learning that most applies to Phoebe choosing the female captain as the model for her behavior is what? So is it attention? Is it retention? Is it motivation or is it reproduction? So pause the video right now and come up with your answer. Okay, so you should have paused and answered that now. I am going to tell you that 33% of people chose A and 56% of people chose C. So out of those two options there. So is she, um, is she motivated to to be like the captain? Yes. Um, does this talk about the retention stage? Not necessarily. Or the reproduction stage? Not necessarily. So 56% uh, of people, as I said, picked C. But the answer for this is actually A. So A was correct because the question asked why Phoebe chose the female captain as the model for her behavior. So in that stage of the attention, the learner is more likely to pay attention to a model who has similar characteristics uh, to the learner or who the learner admires. So if we look at the start of the scenario there, the, um, the model had blonde hair just like Phoebe and that's why she admired the captain to start off with. So the uh, stage of motivation, which is option C, refers to the learner being motivated to perform the learned behavior 
which is not what the question here was referring to. Why did Phoebe choose the female captain as the model for her behavior? So why did she initially choose her? So just an example there of how much attention you really need to pay to in these kind of questions. Um, this is not an exam question, but it was inside our um, class slide. So I just thought that I would go through it um, in terms of armor, the steps in observational learning. So Drew is a skilled football player who often kicks goals. To try and improve his playing, he watched a DVD of last year's grand final game. At his next practice, he tried, to, uh, he tried some of the techniques he had seen in the DVD. In his next match, however, he scored fewer goals than he had in any game all season. So he scored after watching the DVD uh, and trying some of these new techniques, he did not score as many goals. So his observational learning obviously didn't go that well. So identify the five stages of observational learning in the scenario. So A, Drew would have had to pay attention. So keyword there being um, attention and active watching. So actively watch the video, giving it his full attention. Retention. So he must retain what was done in the video so that all the information can be encoded and stored for later use. So as we spoke about in the question above, this stage is all about memory. So Drew had to store the memory of a mental representation of what he saw the players do. So maybe the way that they held the ball just before they kicked it. Reproduction. So Drew may not have been able to accurately reproduce with the precision like the players he had watched. So maybe due to their physical capability, maybe they were taller than Drew, maybe they were shorter than him, or maybe they dropped the ball a different way and he was not able to reproduce it the exact same. Motivation. So Drew wanted um, to watch the DVD as he had the desire to perform what he had observed. So his motivation was to kick a lot of goals. So back to those keywords there. So he wanted to watch the DVD. Oh, he watched the DVD. It doesn't say wanted. Sorry, I read it wrong. <laughs> um, and the motivation to kick a lot of goals. So he did really want to do that. So once the new response is tried, um, reinforcement determines whether it will be repeated thereafter. So we know that if you're positively reinforced, um, then the likelihood of you doing that again will continue or negatively. So it seems that Drew is not likely to repeat the same technique because he wasn't reinforced. So he had, um, he'd scored fewer goals. So that same technique didn't work. So he would need to change something there. If per se, um, he kicked more goals and maybe his coach uh, really praised him or his teammates, then he would be likely to reproduce that same behavior. Thanks for watching guys.